fast mounting, lock house and optimal usage of space. How this is possible, you will learn now. Welcome on the booth of the Schletter Group. On my side, I welcome Mr. Christian Salzeder. He is the sales manager of the Schletter Group, responsible for the uh, uh, freelance systems. And Mr. Salzeder, the optimal usage of space becomes more and more important, even for farmers. They're looking for new uh, systems to use their land twice. What has Schletter new in its portfolio? Yeah, thank you so much. Good question here. Uh, welcome at the booth uh, from Schletter Group. Yeah, actually the question is becoming more and more important because uh, we see that the easy land is not available anymore and we need a lot of land. So at the moment solar PV is becoming the largest source of electricity generation in the world. So therefore we need a lot of space. Uh, so that's, uh, that's clear. Therefore also the focus is more on how we can use the land with solar PV but do not disturb the original um, intent yeah, that we have with the, with the land, like biodiversity or farming or any or others. This is why also the application area is changing. The systems are changing and this is why I developed this vertical um, PV plant um, that is a dual use for um, agri-PV. So we have on the one side we are not disturbing the farmer because they can still use the land to 90% I would say. But I do have the additional benefit that um, the, I can generate uh, PV. And therefore, I have 100% of PV generation plus 90% of farming. So I'm using the land not to 100%, but to 190%. Also, the output of the wall is interesting because it generates electricity in the morning and in the evening hours mainly. So therefore, this is where I need electricity anyway. So we move away from only southern orientated PV plants. We move away and go to east-west orientated, and especially the wall will be a contributor to that. Mm -hmm. And you build the uh, single systems in a wide uh, space that the farmer can use the land exactly. for farming. Yeah, so it's always it's only it's a collaboration between photovoltaic and farmer. So therefore, uh, we can not uh, do anything that um, um, let's say um, prevents the farmer of doing the regular job. So therefore, the machinery can go through it. We have the big distance in, uh, in between. And uh, for different applications, actually, the wall definitely makes sense and will be a part of the uh, overall uh, solar PV industry for its east-west applications. Yeah. And you said uh, the easy fields are built. Yeah, are yours, <laughs> and, <laughs> mainly. And uh, we, we need more... Uh, uh, more flexibility. flexibility. Yeah, it and, is. Yeah. Uh, to use also... Uh, other areas yes. and what did you have to develop? So for undulated terrain we have another uh, another system that I want to show you. Maybe you can follow me to that. Ah, I, I see. This looks very interesting. Yeah, so we are constantly improving our structures. Yeah, so um, farming is a big topic but also terrain following is a big topic. So uh, in the end it's always about um, having a competitive LCOE. So that's important. So we have to keep the cost somehow low, implement new solutions that are very cost efficient. And here you can see a terrain following system that we uh, already have in our portfolio for quite a while, but now we op uh, optimize it again. You can see the connectors here between um, Gerda and Perlin. These connectors uh, adjust the structure uh, for any kind of terrain differences, we can um, implement it for our FS Uno system as well as our FS Duo system. And with that, actually, the installation is pretty simple because you do not get longer posts and you can just smoothly follow the terrain up and down the hill. And therefore, this kind of application is um, something that we have in our portfolio now for uh, from now on. And the module area is every time parallel to the ground. Yes, that's the goal, because if the module area is not parallel to the ground, then you increase the post length. Yeah, if you increase the post length, you need heavier machinery or higher towers to install it. And therefore, we try to be as close to the soil as possible, because also installation and ease of installation is a big topic for us. I want to come back again to Agri-PV, and uh, Schletter has a 
second new system. Yeah. Shall we have a look at yes. this too? Yes, let's have a look at it. See, this is a tracker system. Yes, that's our new tracking system. That's the 1P tracking system. Also, it's not only AgriPV. Also, it is used in uh, common PV plants, just tracking systems. Um, but also, it is uh, if you look about or if you talk about AgriPV, very often it is a requirement to have larger distances between the rows or to spend shadow for some uh, PV plants. Oh, not PV plants, for the, some trees or whatever it is. So, therefore, uh, we have right now a sample installation where we built this structure very, very high to spend shadow during the noon hours on avocado trees. So that's a project that we have at the moment in Israel, for example. Or we also have other uh, projects where you require more space in between the rows and therefore also the tracking system makes more sense because you have higher output and you have more distances between the rows, so it's a better fit for AgriPV. Also, what we have in the portfolio is the uh, bigger brother um, of that tracking system. So it's two modules in portrait. And then you have a row distance of up to 13 meters. And this 13 meters, you can do a normal harvesting. You can use your normal machinery. You can use all the standard equipment that you have in the farming industry. And this is also a very nice application that we already have in the ground for quite a while. And the feedback is very positive for AgriPV with the tracking system on different applications. But in the end, PV will be everywhere because we need the land anyway. But we don't want to change the original use of the land. That's the main, uh, the most important thing. That's the right word, Mr. Salzeder. Very, thank you very much for thank this. You informations and for these yeah. amazing systems and Schletter has also some systems for the pitched roof and let's have a look at these systems now. For the roof systems I've got Mr. Stefan Wild Hi. on my nice side. To meet you. He is sales manager for the uh, Italy and Austria at the Schletter Group. Mr. Wild, the Proline is an existing system and it's much more uh, adapters and much more development and what is new in this year on the ProLine? Yeah, in general ProLine means for us reduce complexity, um, reduce a bit material by of course same resistance and even sometimes more resistance. What is new now for example is um, we designed a new profile for our system Fixed Set Pro and on top of this system, we just click in our heightening elements from our flat roof system, uh, flat grid, uh, fixed grid pro. And uh, that's a very good system for rooftops with a low inclination to get uh, inclination on top. We have fulfilled our system, of course, with all our fasteners for trapezoidal metal sheet, for example, clamp fit system. And yeah, so we are well prepared for pitched roof. We have a lot of articles with uh, the same application, uh, a lot of articles with more applications. That means that's uh, yeah, a sign to reduce the complexity for our clients. That's very important for and us. And you can, can uh, reach uh, some different inclinations with these systems? Yeah, that's true. We can reach five degrees or 10 degrees or 15 degrees, always with the same parts. We just stable them on top. Okay, and you have also news for the flat roof system? Yeah, our fixed grid pro. The, let's have a look. I see the fixed grid pro is also a very uh, used system yeah. that is often used. Very new since the beginning of this year. Our new flat grid system, aerodynamical flat, uh, flat roof system. Um, the principle is always the same. We have a base rail to connect all the modules to each other. And uh, for the heightening of the modules, uh, we have new um, heightening elements. For example, our flexible uh, module surface piece, we have a flexible joint integrated. That means we are flexible for um, all module dimensions and many module measurements. Um, that's very important today because there are large size modules, there are smaller modules. That's very important to have always the same system. Um, these are, again, always the same parts. So we turn in our parts into the base rail and on top we put on the next part and then we have 10 degrees, one more 15 degrees. We can have a portrait solution, we can have landscape solution in uh, east-west and south-facing. Mm -hmm. So if you use the uh, same elements, the uh, need for storage 
for the for the craftsman is not so yeah, high. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. So it's it should be very easy easy for for the installer and uh, yeah, uh, we are very successful since the beginning of this year and we are looking forward to continue like this. Yeah, it's very interesting. Thank you very much, Mr. Wolf. Yeah, for the, thank you for and the informations and the deep insight into the. Uh, systems of Schletter and if you want more information about the Schletter Group, look at the website.